Today we'll be comparing Giraffe 360's virtual tours with its dedicated 360 LiDAR camera to this little 360 action camera, the Insta360 X3. It doesn't actually do virtual tour scans on its own, so I'll be linking it to the Matterport app. This is probably one of the most budget-friendly ways of doing virtual tours, which makes it pretty popular in the real estate industry. But how does it stack up against this beast? Let's get into it. Starting off with the... So for the Matterport Insta360 X3, everything is done on the Matterport app, which is super easy to connect to the Insta360 camera. So that's two devices you gotta make sure that's charged up enough, the camera and your phone. The app is intuitive and very responsive. You scan with this button, takes about 15 to 30 seconds, and then you need to mark any windows or mirrors inside the app using this little arrow thing. That'll help give you the best results. The dollhouse preview thing builds as you scan throughout the house. It's great of keeping track of what's already been scanned or what you should be scanning next. You can also tap in and preview the individual scans, making sure everything's good. Delete them if you want, scan again. For staircases, you should be scanning every four or so stairs. Then when you reach a new floor, make sure you add in a new floor. It'll reset everything and allow you to scan in that whole new floor. I had some issues with outside 3D scans. It wasn't aligning properly. It was thinking it was completely on the other side of the house, but you can just switch over to taking a 360 panoramic instead of doing a scan. There's no need to align things when it's just a panoramic image. It doesn't get included in the virtual tour scan, but it does get included in the virtual tour. It'll make more sense when I show you the results. When you're done, just upload it and it'll process all the scans and email you when the virtual tour is done, which didn't take long at all. I actually got a notification saying it was done during my Giraffe 360 scan right after. The total time from start to finished product, it's processed, it's done, it only took about two hours. Now for the Giraffe 360 experience, everything is done on the camera. You don't need to have a phone, just one device you need to worry about and keep charged. It also comes as a package with a dedicated tripod, the camera is super lightweight, the whole thing is really just light and easy to carry around. The touch screen's nice, it's responsive, it's not laggy, and there's not a whole lot of clutter. It's just a one and done button here for taking scans. Tap the scan button, it'll give you a countdown to get out of the room, and it'll just start scanning. When it's done, there's no need to mark windows or mirrors, that's all done for you automatically. I don't know the exact time, and it's gonna depend on lighting, but I'd say around 30 seconds to a minute. That's roughly how long it takes per scan. Either way, it's definitely longer than the X3, but it's also doing a floor plan scan at the same time with that LiDAR laser. There's a nice gallery view that you can scroll through and check your scans, preview them, delete them, scan again. There's none of that dollhouse view to figure out alignment and where to scan next like in Matterport. Basically just going off your eyes, looking back at the gallery to see what has already been scanned, but it's pretty intuitive. You just kind of walk around the house and place it at different points and whatever your eyes see, the camera sees, so just keep that in mind. For staircases, you just have to scan the bottom and then the top. If there's a little middle floor like I have here, put it there, definitely. And then when you get to a new floor, you don't have to create a new floor in an app or on the touch screen or anything, just carry on. And then for outside, I just brought it outside and started scanning. We'll see the results later. Although keep in mind the Draft360 is not water resistant at all. They don't recommend bringing it into the rain, whereas the Insta360 is fully waterproof. When you're done, hit finish, and if you're connected to Wi-Fi, those scans will process and upload. This definitely takes some time, even with fast Wi-Fi. So make sure the battery's charged enough or it's plugged in. The total time, I started a scan on Friday afternoon and I got them back 3 a.m. on Monday. Although I have had way faster turnaround, they do have a quality control team that looks over this stuff to make sure you're getting the best results, that human overview, it's going to take a little bit more time than just an automatic process send. All right, so here's the Matterport dashboard thing. There's the dollhouse, takes you in, and there you go. There you go. Resolution's definitely not the highest, not a whole lot of dynamic range. That window's completely blown out. Colors are pretty accurate. And in terms of the virtual tour as a whole, I mean, it works. You just kind of tap through and there you go, here's the bathroom. There's a tight space for you. You'll see over here that it does not remove the camera for you. So you just gotta be mindful of mirrors. Up here, there's just a honking camera. Yeah, it's very 480p looking. It looks like my webcam right now, you know? It's just kind of that look. The tripod gets blurred out at the bottom here, so that's nice. So it does build out a floor plan for you based on the scan and honestly did a pretty good job. And for the outside images, instead of having this node here that you could click on and move through to the outside, 
you just gotta click on this 360 image. And then here's another one I took over here. Instead of guiding you to it, it just loads up the image. Here's all the add-ons. You can do schematic floor plans, CAD files, all this stuff. This will cost extra. Now moving over to the Giraffe 360, here we are on the dashboard. We'll open it up. <laughs> I mean, just off this, it's a lot a lot nicer. It is night and day. You're getting to see outside a bit, although the windows are a little janked up, that HDR sort of look around the windows, but you are getting more dynamic range. The whites on the wall are more white. If I go over to the bathroom, you'll see there's no reflection. So it does remove it automatically for you. It'll also try and automatically blur out faces. So it's done that on the decoration here. You have this little mini map here for navigation. I can hop over into the ensuite. There's a blurred out photo. Yeah, it just looks a lot more bright and welcoming. The resolution's a lot higher. It's just a very high quality looking virtual tour. And that's not to say that this is bad. It's just not as good as this. Look at that window pole right there. You can see right outside. Look at that versus that. And then to go outside, just takes you outside. I didn't have to manually switch over to just taking 360 panoramics and finagle around with alignment like on Matterport. I just brought it outside, plopped it down and took a, took a scan. It generated a full digital floor plan for me. So for Matterport pricing, it starts at free. It's very basic. You only have one active space and two users. You can move your way up to enterprise where you got a contact for pricing and figure out a custom quote. And obviously you'll need to have the Insta360 X3, which you can buy on Matterport's website as a kit with a tripod for 450. I'll leave a link below to check it out for yourself, figure out what you would need. And for the draft pricing, the base starts at $223 a month. That includes the camera, virtual tours, floor plans, photos, and AI property descriptions. That'll all change depending on the number of cameras you need, the number of projects you need per year, whether or not you need certain add-ons. Basically the Matterport Insta360 X3, it's worse quality, it's not as automatic. I do like the dollhouse preview and there is more budget friendly pricing and you seem to get really fast turnaround. So if that's a big part of your business model, then think about that. You go the Draft 360 route, it's super easy to use. It's pretty much walk around the house, plop it down, everything gets done for you in the back end. If your business model is around delivering the highest quality, then I think the choice is pretty obvious. But hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Farewell.